I've traveled all over the world and I've been in some of the most exclusive homes and compounds. Estates, palaces, even Buckingham Palace. The one thing I've learned along the way is the rich don't always have good taste. My true passion in life is impeccable taste, true design, and people who own their shit. I'm Caroline Stanbury, and this is Own It. Do you want to drink during this or no? No. Oh, oh, alcohol you mean? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to travel the world seeing the most expensive and exclusive homes owned by the wealthiest and most eccentric people out there. Burgundy Hummer. Somebody just inherited. Today, I'm meeting Las Vegas drag queen legend Frank Marino. He's made millions on the strip and I can't wait to see what he spent his money on. But the actual fuck am I? This show is not about fixing bad decor. There will be no Renaults. I will not be ship laughing. <laughs> if I knew even what it was. <laughs> Who are Chip and Joanna and why are they famous? Provincial. Basic. Who is Yo Judy? And why is Judy parked outside the front of this house? I've just noticed the tiger has balls. Why would you do that? Welcome to Vegas. Oh my God, I feel How like. How are you, sweetheart? Mwah. I don't know what Mwah. to look at. The house or the hair? Oh <laughs> like, my gosh. This is incredible. I feel like I've entered Narnia. This Not is probably sure. one of the craziest houses you'll see in Las Vegas. I'm dying to hear your opinion on it, to be honest. So, uh, <laughs> really? I'm willing to own it. I'm willing <laughs> okay. to own it. I've been known to speak my mind, and I'm going to ask every question the viewers are dying to know. We'll see the good, the bad, and the oh so very ugly. So that's the original home. Okay, this looks like a normal house. Right, that's why. So you I had ripped to redo out it. a perfectly normal house. Yes, and, and the, put and people in did not this understand. elitism. It's lonely at the top, but it's comforting to look down upon everybody else at the bottom. Oh, cheers to that. <laughs> Everyone needs a hair salon. The first wig I put on, I looked like the Long Island medium. <laughs> You're dead to me now. But then I can still talk to you. Nails, hair, hips, heels. Ass. Oh my God, I look but, like but a grandma. <laughs> I'm a right. big <laughs> we were doing so well for the rest of the house. This so. is appalling. Do you put people you hate in here? Like, seriously. This is the one room I was afraid to show you. Frank, this I don't think caution. I can go through the store. Frank, this is a decorating nightmare. Let's talk about the actual decorating. No, no, the what? No, no, there was no decorating. Imagine there's no dolls in here. Oh, so I'm, I am. So I thought it was a cute idea that if children ever stayed over, if parents had kids, they didn't have to. No see one's them. leaving their children in this house, Frank. <laughs> no one. This is my Disney theater. <gasps> oh my God, Frank's face on every single Disney character—absolutely horrifying. People think it's over the top, but I gotta be honest, I wouldn't change a thing in this room. Now that I'm thinking of it, this might be yours. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me show Touché. you something even more crazy. Come on. Oh, holy shit. Please tell me this isn't your bedroom. No. I was about to say. What the girl, uh, what's her name? Um, Audrey, what's her name? Stop. Did you just ask what her name was in your in the room that you paid homage I know, I know. to her? But Having been mentally through the house. This room is calming me down. I can't actually believe I'm gonna say this. This is the most normal room you have. I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah. It's everything you're too poor to experience and too shy to ask. That shit crazy. You paid how much for that? $40,000 for this. Do you actually see this? Who on earth eats with this? Be frank, is this how your last guest left the house? Because <laughs> you're desperately trying to get out. That's my closet. <laughs> it's like you get dressed on crack every day. How much do you spend on gowns, do you think? Probably like 5,000. Each? Each. Stop it. I just, I wondered who bought these. Like, I really did wonder, and now I met you. I do get dressed some days going, would somebody else my age wear this? And it's usually no. But you're one of a kind, Frank, and we all like rare things. Oh. <laughs> I would stay in here all night. I have somebody I want you to meet. This is Caroline. Are you Yo Judy by chance? It's me in the flesh. <laughs> Judy, Judy, Judy. You're a dog nanny. A dog nanny. 
Do you do the cleaning as well Hell with him? No, he has maids for that. Do you love this house? It took me a while. What about all the naked men pictures? There's naked men. I haven't seen any of those. We will travel to some very unexpected places. Whether it's the infamous Bunny Ranch or the Royal Palace in Dubai. I have the golden ticket to the most exclusive homes imaginable, and I'm going to put these people to the test. Because when you defend your choices and you own your style, you become a whole new level of fabulous. Life's too crazy if you let yourself get too old. You could come in here and just see everything is just everywhere, but there's a lot of things that like really mean something to me. And people say, well, you don't need that big house. And I'm like, to house the things that make me happy, I kind of do. You can see there's a lot of love here. As much as I wanted to bulldoze this house when I walked in, I kind of love the way you owned it. And it may not be for me, and it may not be for many people, but it certainly says you. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Caroline Stanbury, and this is Own It. Is that a Louis Vuitton dumpster? Owning it. <laughs>